New at 10, a bill that would help further protect dogs in Texas was among the 20 pieces of legislation vetoed by Governor Greg Abbott. KETK's Lauren Margolis tells us more about what the bill would have done and what animal advocates have to say. A chained dog can live its entire life outside in the sun and in the cold and it's perfectly legal. The SPCA of East Texas and other dog lovers are disappointed in Governor Greg Abbott after he vetoed a bill that could potentially save the lives of a lot of animals. Senate Bill 474, known as the Safe Outdoor Dogs Act, would have better defined what acceptable living conditions for a dog are. Right now, animal advocates say the state's laws are too vague. Adequate shelter. Well, what does that mean? The law would have made it illegal in the state of Texas to chain up dogs and leave them without drinkable water, shade, or shelter. I have taken chains off of animals that I could barely lift. They were so heavy. Right now, one thing the president and founder of the SPCA of East Texas is most worried about is the intense summer heat and the pets and stray dogs left outside. In Texas, we see shelter um, as loosely defined as uh, a broken down car. And because of these harsh conditions rescue workers often find them living in, dogs in shelters can suffer from aggressive behavior or fear of most things. When they're brought to us, you know, it's a, it's a completely different way of life for them. Now, those animals may experience having their own bed, clean water, and consistent meals for the first time in their lives. Our animals are all kept in the air conditioning. Um, they get outside time when the weather's mild. But sadly, there's not unlimited space for these fur babies. An overload of dogs has been a recent problem in East Texas, especially now that it's puppy season. Shelters here tell me they just don't have any more room for animals. We cannot respond to all the calls for help. It's just absolutely overwhelming. Abbott says part of his reason for vetoing the bill is Texas already has strong laws protecting dogs from animal cruelty, adding the penalties proposed in the bill seemed excessive. When you look at the voiceless animals, they are bipartisan. They don't vote. They don't have a voice. And, and we have to step up as Texans and do better. Animal lovers say they will continue fighting for the innocent lives who aren't able to speak up for themselves. Lauren Margolis, KTK News.